Peace one then, a couple of miles from where you grew up, and uh, we're with one of Britain's leading actors, Sidra Selva, one of the coolest guys out there. So just what are we doing in a gym in the middle of East London? Uh, well, I'm here at Luta, uh, Fight for Peace, which is an organisation that um, has gone into the favelas of Brazil. Started a fight club that brings kids off the, off, out of gun culture and into uh, into uh, training, and they've opened one here in uh, Woolwich. Um, and I'm an ambassador for them. Uh, they have a clothing line which gives half the profits towards the centres, and the centres are fantastic because you know literally kids uh, from really young ages. I'm not exactly sure how, how young they are when they come in. About 14 years old can come in. A lot of them, I was told earlier by one of the youth workers that works here, a lot of them come in, they stand at the doors and watch for about two weeks before they even get in. And then they get in here and they start training. And at least, you know, they're in here for two hours a day, three hours a day, and not on the streets doing that. Um, so that's why I'm here. And I know you're into your boxing and your MMA, and you said uh, you used to spar a bit yourself. Yeah, I used to for about six years, and um, I, I trained up to a really high level, but I just never fought because I had to protect the old... Boat race, you know what I mean? Because you've worked in Hollywood now, you've done action films. Yeah. So do you find yourself as being quite handy in the ring? I, uh, yeah, I'm all right. I, you know, listen, I'll tell you, I, I was all right with the hands and the legs. You know, I mean? I'm still, I'm really unfit now. Um, but I'm actually going to train for a fight next year. I'm going to raise some money uh, for with Luta and uh, I'm raising some money for a clinic in, in, in Sierra Leone where... I trained for about eight months. I'm going to make a documentary out of it and make some money. So, watch out. You know Fancy right? yourself as an ex like David Hayden? Who? <laughs> Just joking, David. They're trying to knock me out now. And these days, of course, uh, Hollywood films, you're in American Gangster, famously, alongside Denzel Washington. Right, yeah. So, obviously, one of the coolest American actors. You're one of the coolest British actors. Was there a bit of... Who was the cooler guy on set? The coolest guy is definitely Denzel. Uh, it was his set, and, uh, and uh, an interesting time working with him. I'm actually working with Ridley Scott again now on a film called Prometheus. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Because obviously you did Luther, which was a really successful series back over in Britain. Luther? No, Luther. No, Luther. No, Luther. That's not. Did you enjoy coming back to London and you know, filming in your hometown and being back around London? It's, uh, it's always a pleasure. Cause I, I've lived in the States for about 13 years and I'm very thankful for the career I've got there. But it, was, it really made sense to come home and, and work here as well and, and be embraced. So uh, I'm really proud of Luther. New season coming very, very soon. Fantastic. Just one last question. Hopefully in a year's time we'll be seeing you in the ring in your first professional fight. Yes, mate. Oh. What do you fancy yourself as? Middleweight, heavyweight? We're going to be coming oh, I'm in. I'm probably going to go light heavy. Probably light heavy. I'm, what am I? 200, 210, 15 pounds now. Probably strip down a little bit and just go at it, man. You know, listen, I'm 38 years old. You know what I mean? Fighting in the ring is probably not a good idea, but if I can raise a bit of money for a clinic in, in Sierra Leone, let's go. Fantastic. I mean, it's you, David. <laughs> <laughs>